Good Saturday evening, everybody. Live and direct from Big River Crossing. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a little bit of some rainfall in the parts of the area for this evening. Unfortunately, things are a little bit breezy and unfortunately, it's also a little bit on the wet and windy side out here for this evening. It's a great view in its own right. Looking back up river and seeing again from downtown Memphis, a lot of the clouds and the rainfall that have kept everybody indoors today. So why am I out here talking to you? Well, I needed some fresh air and seemed like a good idea to talk about indoor astronomy type things as we are outdoors taking a look around for this evening. We've had a lot of clouds in the Mid-South for the overnight hours and looking at more chances of rainfall into the rest of the weekend. So good viewing for astronomy at this time is just basically not going to be happening anytime soon. But there are some things online that you can take a look at and we'll show you a little bit more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Taking a look around Jonesboro this afternoon did have a lot of clouds across much of the area and seeing again some very quiet conditions for today before the rain moved in and a good day for weather for downtown Memphis looking down toward the area in and around the St. Jude Marathon. I hope everybody had a great time getting out and about for this evening and after the race and everything was over with but otherwise get a pretty rain free race across the area for downtown Memphis and beyond today. And thanks to everybody at St. Jude for the hard work they do and everybody else for putting together a great marathon for fundraising for a great hospital out there. Rain chances, lots of them, and going to be sticking around throughout the rest of the evening. So if you're looking for clear skies, for doing any stargazing, it is not going to be happening anytime soon. Things are going to be very much on the dismal side out there. Low clouds, breezy winds, lots of rainfall, and not much going on. So when do we expect anything in the way of clear skies? This is weather you can access from the National Weather Service in Memphis. This is a good opportunity to see what's coming your way. It's an activity planner that's available from the National Weather Service at their homepage at weather.gov slash MEG. That's their code phrase. And my finger is pointing to the blue line on the screen, which is where the clouds are located. That gives you a good idea as to what exactly the cloud cover is going to be. And from today through the next about five days, we are not going to be seeing anything in the way of really clear skies out there. So when do we have the chance of doing some stargazing? gazing again. According to this map and according to these information that we got, it's probably going to be somewhere around Friday that we pick up the potential of getting some areas of some clearing skies in here. So we've got several more days of clouds, rain, and some much colder weather heading our direction. We'll talk more about that on the News Channel 3 Late Edition tonight. We're going to be on a little bit late thanks to football that ran over by a bit. So what is there online to take a look at? The National Weather Service and National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration does a real good job of taking a look at space weather, not just the sunlight that comes down, but a lot of the stuff the sun throws at us can be fairly damaging at times, including to electronic systems. And if you'd like to know more about what the National Weather Service and the White House is doing to make certain we stay protected from solar storms, you can read more about this at www.swp spaceweatherpredictioncenter.noaa.gov. The executive order issued by the president in October does a very good job of making certain that we are making a coordinated effort to stay as safe as possible and a great opportunity to learn more about space weather, how the sun affects us, and a lot of information available from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and also available from the White House. If you'd like to see more about how we're using science to protect our planet and study more about how the National Weather Service and other agencies can come together to make things work a little bit more properly and keep us all safe if at all possible. Again, kind of a dismal evening out here for anything involving observing of the stars. A lot of clouds out across the area and very much on the breezy side for tonight. So not really a good night for astronomy, but some nice fresh air rolling into the area. So that kind of helps by just a little bit. I think I'm going to go back inside and get warmed up once again and get some more information available for our forecast available at Facebook and on my Facebook page at 8 o'clock tonight if you'd like to see a little bit more about that. Reporting live and direct from Big River Crossing, a beautiful evening, at least under the umbrella anyway, before this heads out and decides to take off for Mississippi. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for the indoor edition of News Channel 3's astronomy blog, Sky Blog 3. And remember, whenever it comes to weather or astronomy or anything involving science, always remember to keep looking up.